Hi, man, Jobs. Or welcome to the back of this teardown lab. I have here an Atari ST, and this is from a previous video. And I had just made this, which is an extender, and I was just about to put it all away. And I thought, you know what, let's have a bit of fun because I sort of speculated you'd be able to fit the extender in the side of the actual case out through the floppy drive. You know, assuming you're not going to use the floppy drive and you're going to use like an external um, disk interface like the sort of GoTech, but maybe on a an extension lead or frankly this is an empty box you could quite easily modify this to take the uh, joystick interface if you want to move things around now isn't that a good idea hmm. no no don't have time for that today <laughs> but we're going to just have a go at doing a real basic sort of installation of the um, joystick ports because i just saw there was a quick quick and easy and dirty way of doing this so what i'm going to do is just rush straight ahead and what you want to do is unscrew these just loosen them. You should be able to do them by hand if you're lucky after that. Yeah, there we go. You can see, just twist them off. You'll notice how these things always seem to want to twist themselves out when you're uh, installing anything. And you'll see they're just standard kind of like motherboard style standoffs. So you can keep those aside for now. We'll need them again, but not, not for a moment. So this gives you loads of options. So you can see that if you can cut a nice D-shape hole, and perhaps you could even use these metal brackets as a template. You could really install joystick ports anywhere in your Atari ST. And you know, you can put them around the back, put them around the side. But I'm just gonna try something out, sort of because I'm sort of speculating. It's pretty easy, pretty nasty, but it should work. That you could, if you're not gonna use the drive bay, you could easily just flip over the metal bracket or cut the metal bracket down and fit it in. So those are the two ports now loose, so you can really install those anywhere you like. So that's the metal bracket. So here's the drive, and you can see you can't really get anywhere with this because this PC backplane screw bracket is in the way. So just take your pliers, and I'm thinking just bend them or snap it off, frankly. In fact, let's try to snap it off, see what happens. Uh, yeah, that's probably not as nice as you'd like <laughs> um, but yeah if you want to get rid of that tang just hit it with a hammer in the, your your garage for a bit which I'm probably going to do in a moment and we're going to get the Atari panel and it's a really long panel so I'm sorry I can't fit this quite into the uh, frame of the camera nicely in fact I'm going to just take this off the camera just to show you the inside inside way have to stand up for this. You can see there there's a, a couple of grooves here in the plastic that stop this going in so you will have to make it shorter but you could actually just mount that in like that and just glue that in. Yeah, say about there and then you'll have some ports on the side so why don't I just go and cut those and we'll have a go. Yeah I think I know why I injure myself. Let's try this. Let's try it with snips. Come on. Yes. You can do it, boy. You can do it. Oops, hope this isn't turned on. Yeah. So I've just got the glue gun glue now warming up on the off camera here. So I'm just going to put these doohickeys back in. You can't, um, you could probably avoid taking these out actually if you can snip off the end of the bracket at the same, you know, in the same movement. But uh, that's fine. I wanted to eyeball it a little bit so I could see how to fit this into the case. Now make sure when you tighten these you kind of get them pretty tight. It's not really that important for a mouse or a joystick on the Atari C because it doesn't have these locking things but if you're doing this on something that does use those twisty lock things invariably at an inopportune moment they will try to remove the these bolts and uh, 
it's just a pain. You'll get it in a monitor or something and they'll sort of come halfway out. Oh, these are a lot harder getting in than coming out, I have to tell you. So if you do this yourself and you decide to mount them in the chassis, just make sure you've got the clearances on both sides of the chassis. One, to fit them, and two, to actually plug your mouse or joystick in. The Atari ST has additional ports on the left-hand side here, which you don't have on the FM. So I would suggest if you're going to do this and you've got an FM, just whack them over there, because there's probably a space. It certainly was a space that Atari could, could use. Um, or somewhere around the back, really. Right, they're nicely in. So I've got the case here. So we're going to just basically hot glue this right in there. I mean, I'm not going to finesse it any more than that. I'm going to hot glue that right in there. But before I do, I might just install it into the case. So you can see we've got these cutaways here. So the cable's basically going to go through the cutaway and then loop itself back into the keyboard connector. So we might as well just plug them straight. Oh. Now you could do it internally, couldn't you? Yeah. If you do it this way, there's a chance you may or may not be able to get the keyboard in. So we're going to take that chance now and have a look. Let's see what happens. So we want these to be nicely held down there and if you've got some insulating tape which I do and I'm going to use a nice bright red so you can see at home where it's going. I'm just going to tape these down like so. Now this is really quite nasty the way I'm doing this. If you're doing this on your own, on please take time. I, I know I'm probably going to rip this out and do it again properly at some point in the not too distant future, so you can take a lot more care than I have. I'm just going to eyeball this now from underneath. Yep, make sure it's gone in nicely, and indeed it has, and I'll show you a picture of that in a moment from the underneath. So temporarily, we don't want our drive getting in the way, so I'm just going to just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna disconnect it altogether. I just don't want it. I just don't want it messing around because I've put these nails in it and it's gonna scratch everything up if I leave it in there. We'll put that aside. So all that remains is the rather awkward task of hot gluing this in, and it's awkward because of the uh, length of this case. That's why I can't show you on camera easily. It's uh, you forget how long these cases are till you've got one in your hand. Um, so just positioning the ports here. Now you've got to be quick with this because you're hot gluing to metal. It's going to take the heat away. In fact, you're probably better off putting the glue on the plastic if you're going to try this. But, uh, I'll have a go at the metal. We run that risk. We'll run the risk. Just putting some hot glue right there. Hot glue right there. Let's get that in place before it hardens up. Yeah. It's extra overflowing, just the way I like it. That's uh, it's not too bad. I mean, uh, if you're doing this and you're just you got a bit of plastic molding skills, you could certainly put a bit of um, time into this. Get that nice. Get um, what I would actually do is put some fiberglass or cardboard even behind this, and actually just fill it with sort of car fillers clean it all up, paint the whole thing to match, and uh, have a nice custom panel on the back. Maybe even uh, just modify one of those Gotex to actually just include these ports, or at least the mouse port. So let's pop this back in, let's see if it goes, and it does go. Wunderbar, look, there we go. Some nice ports on the side, and uh, I think the only thing that remains to, uh, to be done is to try these out. So here we have the Atari ST, and you can see my camera's above here. That's why I don't have that much room to work with. So I do apologize immensely for the bad camera angles earlier. So here's my big blobs of hot glue. And just to let you know, I have left these purposely huge big blobs so I can 
pull it off and get this off easy without having to try to spend ages cleaning up the case. But they're the two ports, and actually they're pretty firmly in, considering it's only two blobs of hot glue. Um, and just to flip this over, again gingerly, the case is not screwed together, you can just see what's happened. You've got the ribbon cable just folding back on itself through the apertures that already exist. Um, right there. And that's pretty neat, actually. If you sort of put some heat shrink over those, you can make those pretty. It's up to you. I wouldn't bother. So I'm just going to plug this in, get round the back here. Where is that darn plug? Oh, I believe it's there. Indeed it is. Let's fire on the Atari. And as soon as it's taken its time to load, it always does, we can plug in the mouse and get the original Atari mouse. Trusty old brute. And the desktop's loaded, so let's try this. I don't know which way around we've got the ports. I'm hoping this is port one, the one closest to me. It is in, and it is. So that's a lot easier, isn't it? If you get a nice 90 degree uh, bend. So just to show you, remember I was saying the Atari ST actually has additional ports, and uh, there they are, they're right there. So if you've got an FM, you might want to consider putting your ports here. You don't really want to mess with the cartridge or MIDI end. Um, let's unplug this and, God, that's a stiff old power lead on this bad boy. It does not want to go. We'll unplug the mouse. If I flip this around, we'll just have a quick look at the back and see where else you could put them. Um, yeah, I mean, anywhere above on these things. If I just open the case, have a look-see inside. I'll gingerly remove this and that does allow you to see though how it's all set up in there. The camera does not like to focus on it. Um, if I just remove the case as much as I can. It's difficult here, what a mess. We'll just have a look down inside here. Um, yeah, you've got a big old area here above the sort of TV modulator. You could probably get something in there, but uh, yeah, uh, you're going to be right on the edge where this seam is, so you're going to have to be a bit careful with your Dremel, but you can do it. It's up to you. Have a go. Maybe, just maybe, and uh, ultra carefully here, just having a look down there. Yeah, you probably could. To be fair, make them here, which is the same place, you know, opposite the side of the Atari ST has its additional ports. So yeah, lots of options for you. Please uh, click uh, like and subscribe if you're that way inclined to this video. I'd love for you to comment down below and let me know what you've done with your Atari ST or if you've just used the regular extenders out the front. If you're uh, into Atari ST, please check out my Atari ST playlist. I'm going to you know, start adding more videos to that because I'm getting into this right now. I'm really enjoying this old retro hardware. And as ever, thanks for watching.